I'm Jinx Monsoon. 30 years ago, I gave live birth to a gay homosexual son. Now he's an adult. Wish I could drown him. I'm not a typical mom. I'm a cool mom! <laughs> Was that right? So y'all know I am Ariel, so you gotta come be part of my world on the East Coast at New York Drag Con. Get your tickets now and yes. Oh, Gunther, <laughs> I just love your poster. It's adorable. Uh, uh, Mom, you look kind of That's right. You look, you look kind of different today. I don't know what's going on. No, I'm in complete organ failure right now, sweetheart. I wouldn't know it by looking at you. You're stunning. Why, thank you. What good taste you have in mothers. Cool mom! I'm going to tell you a little secret. I'm a cool mom. Just suck out the marrow from bones. <laughs> I'm here to educate you. I like your posters and all the tchotchkes you have around here. Yeah, it's a little messy, but... Uh... A little messy? Yeah, do you... Clean up this mess! Yeah, uh... You can't suck the nipple of human kindness your whole life. You're gonna have to learn things on your own! I love you more than anyone else in the entire world. You're going to be mine forever. We are connected by my placenta. That umbilical cord just stays strong. We're never going to cut the strings that bind us. Um, Mom, I have to ask you, are you feeling okay? Because... Uh-oh. You said that you wouldn't be here today. Oh my god, it can only mean that the Richter scale is broken or... She's back. She's... No! Oh. What the holy hell is going on in here? Oh, uh, uh... Is Devin Green supposed to be me right now? Correct. But a younger, it's... vibrant... Jinx Monsoon. What are you two ass trying to pull right now? I mean, is... Well, I mean, we... Remember I had that meeting with WoW Presents last week, and we you're, just kind of started talking you're not about- You're supposed to go to meetings. We started talking about the brand of Cool Mom, and it's like, is I this am the brand speaking of cool mom. to cool the mom. audience? You know, I'm the Cool we, Mom. Can we get someone who actually like gets it? Someone who, yeah. and you know what? We also kind of look more similar. Yeah, yeah, we're more gooders together, and I've already trademarked your name. Thank you. <laughs> it's true, you hadn't done it, so she actually did it. That's the internet for ya. You're not cutting me out of the show. There's only one thing we can do, and that's Hunger Games it out. You step out there, I don't want your little buttocks to be hurt. I'm gonna powder it lightly later on. She cares Off you so go, much about bunny. me. Off you go. Okay, so Devin, what's this about? Do you <laughs> my son? I'm sorry, just in the bottom half. Okay. I'm gonna Hunger Games. Look it, I'm hungry and thirsty for your son. Is this really better than me? Like, is this is so rambling actually supposed to be more entertaining than my clever quips and- In so many ways! <laughs> cool, Mom. All right, okay. 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 Okay, Green. All right. All right. Here we go. One to market. I'm Taking it pick off. pick your ass back to Canada. You <laughs> mounty bitch. <laughs> We're gonna hunger games it out. I guess we're gonna fight to the death now. <laughs> this is really... <laughs> right in the heart of <laughs> No! Stop! 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 Stop, we don't need to fight. You two don't need to fight each other. You know, this is ridiculous. Why are we being exclusive when the world is telling us to go in a different direction? You can both be my mom. I mean, this whole time we've been momnogamous, but I think it's time we try polymomery. I don't know what kind of idiot you've raised up to this point. At least we can agree on that. Like, he's a f idiot, right? Yeah, please. He's just so stupid. Polymomery? How long have you been sitting on that one, you dip um, All of this, all of this but. has taught me something very important. You're right. It's time we take the show in a slightly different direction. I have a few ideas for some tweaks, and um, I'm going to run it by the producer, and maybe we'll just start at the beginning of this episode again, okay? Just 
Take two. Let's, yeah, let, let's go back to zero. Back to zero, you guys. Well, hello. I'm Devin Green. 47 years ago, I gave live birth to a full-grown adult woman with a deviated septum. I'm not a typical mom. I'm a cool grandmom. Hello and welcome to the new and improved <sighs> Cool Mom. Well, precious face, um, you've done as best as you possibly could do and I'm not patronizing you, which means talking down to you. I just took a lot of lessons from you, yes. you know? And it's really, once someone has huffed as much paint as yeah. Kami has huffed, it's very difficult to get through, you know? And at some point, you just have to become aggressive. He's always like, I didn't choose to be born. Well, I didn't choose to have a parasite grow inside me for nine months. But I let it happen because I'm a good person. Cool grandmom. I mean, who would choose to have a child? It's a lose-lose situation. You, you first have to carry them inside of you. You've got their stuff go, like, and then once you expel it out of you, it expects you to take care of it for the rest of I have life. a query. Yeah. Would it be better if you were a chicken and you just laid an egg every day? I think turtles do it right. You know, you, you plop them in the sand, you bury them, and then you walk away from it forever. That's how chickens do it. In, not in the sand, mom. Oh, that was a rooster. Pardon me. Nothing. <laughs> He's burying something else. Sorry. <laughs> Real talk, have you ever watched a birth happen? <laughs> do you know that their heads go to a point? Because how do you get out like this? You have to go like this. That's why your head turns into a triangle. Some people uh, in different tribes and countries around the world, they just tape it up so it stays pointy. You can see that Kami has a giant head. He tore me from hole to hole. They had to, like, <laughs> top to tail. <laughs> they had to take skin from my scalp to rebuild You're my oh. <laughs> Cool friend, Mom. Thank God we got rid of that ass son of yours. <laughs> he was just dead weight. Yeah, he really was. Is there, like, a cutoff date for abortions? Is, like, 30 years well, too late? Here's the thing. It's hard to find good lighting in your third trimester. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma! You gotta put him back in until he's done. Breathe Trust him. me, I've tried to put him back in there and he puts up such a fight. <laughs> it always comes back to incest with us. <sighs> oh, well, um, you were barely scarred as a child, were you? <laughs> Kudos you. Look at the good I do. Now get the f out of here. I'm a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this new and improved episode of Cool Mom. Next week, you can expect a lot more of this just for hours yeah. and hours. Let me just lower your expectations first. <laughs> Look at your face, a face full of fashion. <laughs> Four uglies from your wardrobe. Three uglies nary an outfit mode. <laughs> Come quiet. <laughs> <laughs> this is a much better show. Oh. <laughs> Cut it together into something watchable. <laughs>